Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more of your daily gaming news. Myself, Amata. Today is still the 1st of October and I have some interesting news for you today from Nintendo as I have revealed via their Wii product page on the Japanese website that they will cease manufacturing its Wii console in the near future. Now, as I said, this was confirmed to customers on the Wii product page and it has a series of Japanese words next to the console which translate to manufacturing is scheduled to end soon. Now, obviously, the ceasing of production will mean that we are nearing the end of the Wii's rather epic tale, which first began back in 2004, which, of course, went on to become one of the most successful home consoles in the company's rather impressive 125-year history. Now, it was, of course, the device that popularised motion control and sold out in droves when it first came out back in 2006. Now in July Nintendo did announce that lifetime sales of the system have surpassed a hundred million mark and they're joined by just three home consoles that have managed to sell at that volume and the other one of course as you might expect are the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2. However the rather interesting thing is that despite the Wii success it's actually Nintendo's third most popular games device when handhelds are factored in. Its all-time bestseller is still the Game Boy which recorded lifetime sales of 118 million and as you might expect in second place is the mighty Nintendo DS. Now, one thing that remains unclear via this announcement is whether or not the Wii Mini will be also cease in manufacture because, of course, that was released back in March, which was a basic redesign of the console to help keep manufacturing costs low. And it locked, it lacked, excuse me, online functionality, did not have an SD card slot or even GameCube backwards compatibility. It literally was a very much stripped down Wii. They haven't mentioned whether or not the Wii, Wii Mini production is going to cease, although the Wii Mini has yet to be released in Japan at the time of writing. So basically what could happen is that the Wii Mini will still be produced and will essentially replace the Wii. And of course you could still play your Wiis and get hold of secondhand Wiis, but they will not be producing any more new ones. So if you want to buy a new one, you have to buy the Mini version, which of course has those features that I previously mentioned stripped out. So that could be what's happening, as of course the Wii Mini is yet to be released in Japan, or we could just be a total cease or production and the Wii Mini units that have been made will be the only units made. But to be honest, considering we don't have a date, it's really hard to tell which of these were going to happen. Of course, if this could happen a few months after the Wii Mini has actually been on sale and it could still be continue to be manufactured or it could cease along with the Wii. It's really tough to say as all that was officially confirmed was that the Wii will no longer be produced past a certain point. Now obviously they didn't give a date as to when this will be happening but it is going to be happening probably some point soon. I wouldn't expect them to continue manufacturing it for long. Of course they're very much trying to push both the Wii U and the 3DS at the moment so I don't think this comes as a surprise to anyone. Anyway this is me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.